Our next guest is Joe Jaworski, a Democrat running for Texas Attorney General. His last name might sound familiar. Joe's grandfather was Leon Jaworski, the special prosecutor in the Watergate scandal in the 70s. The younger Jaworski, though, was mayor of Galveston and is now an attorney and mediator there on the island. Mayor, thanks for being here. We appreciate that. You, you've got some big endorsements from the Dallas Morning News, from the Houston Chronicle as well, too. But, but polls show that the most recent poll we saw from UT showed that you are second behind Rochelle Garza. Why do you think that is? Well, I don't know that that poll is necessarily accurate. We've seen other polls that show us tied. And that was also before we did a whole lot of outreach all over the state. I think that we have a great number of Democrats running this time, Jason. And so the polls are varying widely, but I think that, number one, we have been doing this for 20 months, and on March 1st, we're going to see that come in the result. Mayor, first day on the job, if you are elected, what is priority, priority number one? Well, I've been uh, playing with a list that I call day one, and it's got several things on it, but I can promise you this, Jason. Number one, we're going to reverse the pleadings on some of these intractable lawsuits that Mr. Paxton has brought. For example, suing on the Affordable Care Act, not under the Jaworski administration. I'll dismiss those lawsuits. I think also Senate Bill 8, the Heartbeat Act, facially unconstitutional. Roe v. Wade's the law of the land. I'll reverse that. Most importantly, I will take Ken Paxton's fake voter integrity unit and I'll turn it into General Jaworski's voter access unit. Well, let me ask you about the uh, about Roe versus Wade because the Supreme Court could overturn that later this year. Are there any avenues, do you think, for, for Texas to, to fight that? Because the state legislature, as you know, already has trigger laws set up to, to make that the law of the land here in Texas, too. Jason, you're right. And so should that happen, first off, if Roe v. Wade is no longer viable, as we say, then I think that there's a new approach to protect reproductive rights, which would be uh, an analysis under the Equal Protection Clause, because we know Roe v. Wade is based on the Due Process Clause, the privacy interest. If that evaporates, then there's absolutely a fairness argument under the Equal Protection Clause. Let's say you, you get to the general election this November. Paxton is uh, the Republican likely nominee. He's loaded with cash. The GOP is outraising Democrats three to one so far. Uh, Abbott is 10 points ahead of Beto in that latest poll. How do you compete against that? It, well, the magic is going to be that we're no longer a straight ticket voting state, Jason. And so I think that moderate Republicans who clearly agree with me that Paxton has got to go are going to be sore when their racehorse, be it George P. Bush or Justice Guzman, lose. Because I agree with you. I think Mr. Paxton will be the nominee. But come fall, those moderate Republicans, they may vote for Abbott and Patrick, but when they get to that third line, they're going to say, Ken Paxton, I remember you from the primary. I'm not supporting you. Or better yet, they may vote for the first time in their life for the Democrat, Joe Jaworski. One of the things that you're, that you're really campaigning on is legalizing the adult use of recreational marijuana. How could you make that happen as attorney general? That sounds like something that, that would need to be done legislatively. Oh, it clearly is. But let's remember that when John Hill, a giant of Texas politics, uh, became attorney general, his campaign had championed uh, something that was novel at the time, a consumer protection statute that allows individuals to sue and recover attorney's fees. Believe it or not, we didn't have that until 1973 when he was the lead witness before the Senate for the Deceptive Trade Practices Act. So it'll be the same thing with me. I agree. I can't pass the law myself, but as a statewide constitutional executive candidate, I'm making the case that we remove this wasteful petty prosecution and let's make some money, let's help our veterans, and let's let police and prosecutors fight real crime. I'll make that case before the Senate. Good luck to you. We appreciate the time. Thank you, Jason.